Look at us so very easy. My name is Laura. And what can we make with 25 inch pre cut squares of fabric? Well, if we add a little bit more fabric, we can get ourselves a very pretty quilt. I have 25 inch pre cuts. This fabric line is called Bonnie Lane and it's from Benartex. And I'm going to pair it up with a very soft beige. For each square I have, I have the same amount in this beige. 20 beige, 20 prints. I'm going to turn these into hourglass blocks. So for each of these blocks, I'm going to start with that beige, put right sides of the fabric together, and draw a line going right down the center of that block, and then stitch a quarter inch on each side. And do that to all of the blocks. When that seam is stitched, cut them apart and press all of the squares going to the print fabric. When all those squares have been pressed, we get to put them back together. We can put them back together with the same fabric or match it up with a different fabric. Match them up so the prints are on opposite sides and we're going to be able to nestle those seams together because they're both going towards the print. It's important that we have that center seam nestled together and draw a line from corner to corner and stitch on each side of that line. And we can cut that apart. When it's cut apart, we're going to have our hourglass block. There are two ways we can square up these blocks. One before we do that last pressing and after. So let's do the first one before we press. We want to make sure that that center seam is nestled together. And we're going to use that stitching line as a guide. And if you have a quilt in a day square up ruler, we're going to be able to use this. We can trim it down to a four inch or a three and a half inch block, depending on how big your seam allowance was. That four inch line will sit on top of the stitching line. That line running down the center will also fit on top of the stitching line. So we see a quarter inch seam allowance on one edge and the quarter inch on the other. From here, we can trim off that extra. The same thing applies to a three and a half inch. The three and a half inch line will go on the stitching line and that center line will follow the stitching line and trim. Now I can press this block open and I'm going to open up that center seam. The second way to trim it is to press it open first. We can trim it up to that four inch or three and a half inch block. We can use a square ruler. That 45 degree line will go on one of those seams. Because I want to trim this block to four inch, I'm going to have that two inch mark sitting right in the corner. So it's come over two inches up and has that angle. Trim off the one side and then you can rotate that ruler using the four inch mark and trim off the second side. So from those five inch squares, you're going to be able to get a four or a three and a half inch hourglass block. With the 20 pre-cuts and the 20 solid whites, we now have 40 of these hourglass blocks. I was able to trim mine down to four inches, but this system will still work even if it trims down to three and a half or even smaller. To finish the quilt, we need to make nine of these four patches. We need to keep an eye out on the direction of the center fan. So we will always have a dark piece at the top right hand side or at the left hand side. It won't matter which, but we just need to be consistent. And that way, the blocks are going to go together. If all of the top right hand side are dark and we do a light one on the top, they are not going to go together. And it won't matter which way you turn it, it will not fit. If there is a block that's different, it's very easy to correct. What has happened is the center should be the outside. Fold that block together. Even before you take out the seam, you can stitch this one side. Once we've re-stitched the one side, we can take out the stitching on the other. And when we open it up, we now have the darks in the same position. So we didn't have to do the entire block. We just needed to change sides. Once these blocks have been put together, we need to cut some matching squares of the background fabric. 
If your block was three and a half inches, these will need to be three and a half inches. If they were four inches, they're going to need to be four inches. So whatever this block size was, you will need these to be. And you will need 28 of them. We're going to put this quilt together with four corners and then a cross section. We can sew sets of two together, sew that block on, sew the top three together, and sew that piece on. The reason we have these cut in separate pieces and not one big piece is that way you can cut them to the size you need. If you'd like to do the math, you can have this cut in one piece and another piece. When we're done sewing those five blocks on, we will have four of these corners. The next units will consist of four of these blocks with two of those squares stitched on. With those solid blocks stitched on, we have four corners, four sides, and one center. And that solid area will go on the outside. Just flip them over. The four remaining blocks are the sides. And that solid piece is pointing into the inside. And the last four patch will go in the center. So we have the solid outside borders and the solids coming inside. We can sew these together in rows and then put the rows together. We have four hourglass blocks left. Those will go on the corners. If your block is three and a half inches, this piece will need to be cut at three and a half inches. If it's four, it needs to be cut at four. We can put these four corners on and sew on those hourglass blocks and choose whichever way you want to put them on. And the little quilt is done. All these little triangles sparkle around a big circle with that center piece. And it all started with 20 of these five inch pre-cuts. And I would recommend to start with at least two yards of fabric. So with that extra fabric, we can have a quilt top that's somewhere between 30 to 35 inches, depending on how big we get to square up those blocks. And it's a very pretty little pattern. Thank you for joining me today on So Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe and as always, come on back. Let's see what we're sewing next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.